Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19 and welcome to the last 32 of the Man Bet X Welsh Open. Today we take on Liu Hoishan in a best of seven encounter in the last 32 or the third round of the Welsh Open. And those of you who might have been a bit worried last episode that perhaps we might not have got to this point, obviously we have, thank goodness, but I'll tell you something, we were ran close in the last 128, we played against Reese Clark, we got a highest break of 60, which wasn't too bad to be honest, but we were still run close, and uh, we won in a decider in the best of 5 and beat Reese Clark by 3 frames to 2. And the same could be said for our last 64 match against Liam Highfield, now we made a break of 87 in that one, so that was a good break as well, but Liam Highfield actually went 2-1 up. But seeing as we made that break of 87 in the final frame, we managed to win a decider and get through for the last 32. So after winning two deciders, you would, I guess, suggest that our luck might be up today. But a bit of a longer match, a best of seven frames. We will play at least the first four frames in today's episode. Um, and, and judging on how the game is going, we might well play the whole game today. Depends, as I say, on time, etc, etc. But we might play a second session uh, if it goes on a little bit too long. But we did get to the quarterfinals of this event in Season 1, meaning that we might well lose a little bit of ranking cash if uh, we don't make it there this time. We've gave a gill with Barry Hawkins and Sean Murphy just behind us, but the interesting thing more so is, is that Ronnie O'Sullivan, at least I think he did, I might be dreaming, but I think Ronnie O'Sullivan won this tournament in Season 1, and I think it's seventy or 80,000 for the winner. I know the German Masters and Welsh Open accumulate to 150 overall, so, Ronnie O'Sullivan might move down to 7th at the end of this tournament. But anyway, let's get into our match against Liu Hoishan. Uh, we played against him, I think, once before. I'm not going to show a head-to-head -head screen, because I think we've only played against him once. And I think we beat him. I could be wrong, but it's been a long time since we played him. But this is going to be a tricky match. And um, We did struggle against McGill in the German Masters. And I thought that those frames, we played 10 all in all, obviously, in the, in the two previous matches we played off camera. And I thought they might have given us a little bit of practice and we might have been able to improve. But... The truth is, I don't really think we've made too many strides forward, but hopefully today it should be forward. So really, the aim today is to come out of this session at 2 each. I think coming out of this session 3-1 against Anthony McGill was a big problem because it put a lot of pressure on us going into that last session. But uh, episode 52, eh? Already. Crazy. It is the shootout next. We won that event last year, but hopefully we can go a long way in the Welsh Open. It's going to be tricky with a new aiming aid, but... Let's see how we get on. So a decent break off there from Hoishan. There's a potential red here, so I'm going to give it a go. Play with a bit more power, but just make sure we get on the black. We're not too far off with our aiming aid, so in fear I always think if we play it quite soft that uh, we'll get the pot, but well, that's not the best start. We've actually played it too soft there. We've got on the black pretty much perfectly. But ultimately, we haven't got the black to play on. That's uh, a mock-up of quite considerable dimensions. God. Quite considerable dimensions, really. And we've already given Liu Haishan a chance in frame number one. In it goes. Wonderful pot. Outstanding effort. Ranked at 30th in the rankings, so looking to move up a little bit. This event gives him a good chance. 12. The only event we've ever really performed really well at is obviously the Scottish Open at the Home Nations events. We got knocked out in the last 64, in the last two years of the English Open. Well, Open, we got to the quarterfinal in Season 1. Season 2, I think I want to say we got to the quarterfinal, the last 16. It was, I think it was the last 16, and we got knocked out by Mark Selby. Hi, Shan, taking a long time over this shot. I hope you guys are doing good, though. It's good to see that you guys are fully supporting the move to Pro Plus. I know a lot of you are saying, look, it's going to be hard now, but it'll be worth it in the end, and I agree with that. Or keep going. I think it can just be infuriating sometimes if you go from playing really well to just missing stupid shots more than anything. But that break of 26 is all that Hoishan's going to get for the moment. Hyatan apparently is his name, not Hoishan. Hoyatan, according to Brendan Moore. Okay, fair enough. 
We'll go with that then. We've overheat that quite considerably. We've left a chance for him here. But no, he's either playing a plant. Oh, we can see that red. Well, great stuff. One. Looks like the favourites take this first frame. to run this along the cushion. Oh, that very nearly didn't drop. A lot of pace in that. And taking quite a conservative approach, I don't blame him. There's no point whacking the reds open at this point. Best of seven, though. Not really the longest match. I'd probably prefer best of nine to get into things, but... Best of seven it is. I think it's the best of seven up to the quarterfinals. I think it's the same for all home nation events apart from the UK's. But that's a stinker. That's a real poor shot there. So we get our first points of the game. Wow. Lee Hoytan going in off there. Neil Robertson. Oh, he's chosen to play on here. It's a bit of a shocker from him. Experiment where the cue ball goes. We should have a look at different opportunities here. Pace is the key with this shot. Oh, we've overheated it again. Hmm. Annoying. He's played that very well. But we got away with it. So Lou's opened up a few more, but whatever you do, don't hit the blue. Hmm, well. This is an opportunity now, and I'll tell you something, I absolutely hate these on Pro Plus, these short range shots. This is one of the weaker things about the aiming aid, in my opinion. That's a loose shot. Just seems to be <laughs> I don't know how a longer range shot can be easier to, to go for than something like that. But he gave us a chance and, well, we really haven't took it. One. Not much we could have done, though, there. <laughs> he couldn't have exactly played a safety. This is the problem, really, now, with this aiming aid, is that we're missing a lot of shots that we didn't use to and... Shots that should really be easy. It's really infuriating at times, that is. Because it was a frame winning chance there. But alas, we're giving it back to Liu. Decent position to take on a colour here. Every frame we play, though, we build some experience. And I think Liu's about to go 1 0 up here. There's just five reds left. So 68 left on the table. Just the red required here. 67 ahead. So now puts himself 68 ahead. Just the red required. And he's got it. So Hoytan takes the lead. Apologies if you can hear the wind outside today. It's quite a blustery day. This is tough. Playing the blue. That was a strange choice of shot. Oh, well. Would you believe that? He's completely fluked it. Missed it by a mile, but it came back towards the black cushion and uh, he potted it. Well, there you go. If that's the sort of luck he's going to have today, then we might as well not bother playing. He's played that very well. 35. Nicely onto the colour. 36. It was just one frame. That's what I mean. In the best of seven, it's it's a little bit tricky because, you know, one frame goes by, then two. Basically, a longer match obviously gives you a bit more time to get into things. But apart from the world, you don't really have that luxury until the later rounds. 41. All I will say, though, is however bad we do in the next few tournaments, we'll still keep our top 16 place for the World Championship. 
So that's all that matters really. How well we'll do in the worlds, I don't know, but this is good practice at least for that. And uh, Hoytan, with a few breaks there, as you could see, takes the lead at 1 0. It's a good break off, we haven't lost that in our repertoire. We're trying to get round here. Oh, he's hit the blue. In goes the cue ball. And he's actually gone in off as well. Force him to retake. So to speak. Let's see what he decides to do here. Probably hit the blue again, chances are. Yep, yeah, he's hit the blue again. Is he going to pot it? Oh, no, he hasn't pot it. Oh, game to take it again. He's off the, retake. the chance for us to get some points at the end of the day. Uh, and again. Well, he's asked for the retake. Referee must be wound up with me, you know. Well, let's see what he chooses to do here. I'm just worried about the one time he'll get out of it, so I'm gonna play on here. So it's certainly a chance to build something. Position matters so much more on this aiming aid, it's crazy. And that's the good challenge. Hmm, muck that one up a bit. Wanna get on the black. There's that to the middle pocket, but I don't really think we should be taking those sort of liberties. Come off the cushion. Black's not really viable. Nor is pink, to be honest. But we might as well play a shot to nothing on it. He's looking for the pot into the right middle. I'll tell you what, that's quite encouraging, though. Not too far off. And uh, I knew it was going to be a shot to nothing. I'm glad we didn't pot it because we've got the snooker. Nine. He'll be aware of the risks associated with playing this with too much. He's got out of it. Leaves a pot on though. This is a good chance to get back into this match at one each. One. I shouldn't see though already, just a bit clunky in our position. This looks pretty simple. Mm, we've overhit that. Quite a considerably. That's why position matters so much. So just a safety here. Nothing dazzling, just making sure we don't leave a pot on. Neil Robertson. And that's what we're going to have to do to win frames now. I don't think we're going to have many clearances. We have to be pretty lucky to do that. He overhit that a little bit, you know. I feel a bit sorry for him there, because he could have a good opportunity, potentially. Just don't want to hit the pink on the way back. I, want to get this cue ball close to the I think it's a bit too far from the cushion to... Yeah, to... For that to happen. But look at where that red is. Right over the pocket. Hmm. That was one of the disadvantages of overhitting it there. But now he's going for the other one. Oh, he's got it. Fair play. I wouldn't have gone for that, but he did, and it's gone nicely for him. Sorry if you can hear me gulping as well. <laughs> Got a cup of tea. So red and colour really are crucial here to leave himself a chance. So what's he planning here? Doesn't want to overhit this. Is it blue with a lot of power? He's not playing with much power at all. Well, that's an unforced error. Most definitely. What's the safety light though? Not bad at all. Not too bad at all. Mm, 
and I've hit that. And if you're very lucky not to leave anything on here. Not the best start again to this match. You go into things with all the best intentions, but sometimes it just doesn't work. And he's got the pot. And yeah, you know, I think he'll probably clear up again here. I just don't want a cycle of getting to the last 32. You know, each tournament and then it going wrong. Because that, that's boring for everyone. But he's on. We have a chance here. I can't see him making a mistake. We're still leading the frame though, but I don't think that's going to last very long. Issue with two nillies is that it really requires us to win the next two frames. Because again, at 3-1, let's be honest, our chances are very low to win three in a row. See that black there on Pro Plus? I've got no confidence going for that at all. It's a good shot though from Liu. So Red and Colour put two in the front. Remember in this frame we have had 20 points from Liu's foul. Was it 20? I think it was. That just makes things even worse if we lose the frame. But what can we do at the moment apart from play really? Can't really moan. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. So in quick succession, it looks like it's going to be two nil, Liu. Forty-five. He's got that one a bit wrong, though, I think. Yeah, he has. Well. Might as well try a bit of a shot to nothing on this. Play it hard enough just to give ourselves a chance. No point really playing the safety. Oh, well. That's the risk you take, unfortunately, and... Uh, the luck's not on our side there, at all. It's just amazing. It's it's infuriating more than anything, thinking, right, this has got a good chance of going in, and, and it's nowhere near. That's the most disheartening thing about it all. So this red, to put Liu Heishan, 2-0 up. Not the best start for us at all here. And I think the thing we want to avoid is to start playing with frustration. Because that never helps anyone. Can't quite get to the yellow though, so... But, to be honest, there's no point going for snookers here. We'll concede the frame. And Hayatan gets turn it up. Come on, let's go and win a frame. That's extended his lead. And this will be worrying... Just got no confidence at the moment. Particularly after some of the misses we've had so far today. This is a key frame. It is a key frame, I agree. But uh, that's about the best chance we could possibly ask for. Just make sure we actually don't make the same stupid mistake as last time. And not play with enough power. I can't believe it's only gone to there. <sighs> well, would you believe that? Good pot, but overheat again. Mm, it's annoying now. Start to play into them there. Didn't really have much choice. And he's going to try and get a snooker. Oh, the 
wings going again. Good, nice thin nick. Should have a decent safety here. Do run a little bit further. There we go, there we go. It's a good position. Great shot. Has to open things up a bit here. We'll hope for a bit of cover, which he's got. I mean, I just don't see the point of playing safe here. But at the same token... I mean, there's no way that's not going... In my opinion, there's no way that's not going in. I'm even tempted to play it a bit thicker. If you spend a bit too much time pondering these shots, you can leave yourself in real trouble. No. Oh, well, I'm speechless at that. Absolutely speechless. Well, I don't know how Six. it's going to work, because if if we are convinced that a shot like that is going to go in and it misses by a mile, then I don't get how we're going to how we're going to actually do this and can perform on this difficulty. Makes it a lot more realistic with missing shots, but I think the half of the problem is, and I know I'm going to sound stupid after saying the AI are rubbish on the pro difficulty, but the AI can pop absolutely worldly shots sometimes. And on pro, we could as well. But now we can't, and it's like, well, you know, it's, it's a little bit of an uneven playing field. And that might sound like moaning, and it probably is. The problem is the frames are trickling away and you know the, the further we go into this the more I'm thinking oh we're going to struggle to get through here but if he flukes this blue thank god he hasn't I mean there's that red that on pro I'd probably take on but again it's just not worth the risk I think probably the best shot to nothing is this red here if we're not going to play a, a safety of any kind I don't really think we can play a safe to be this red up uh, towards the bulk, so we'll just give this a go. And there you go. Sometimes just worth having a punt. My position's not brilliant, but ultimately we weren't planning to have brilliant position. That was the aim of that shot. Just try and move something potentially down here. Moved a few reds about how we're going to be in terms of position. Uh, not great, to be honest. I think red to middle is probably our best chance. I think probably... Mm, this middle pocket is probably our best chance, I would say. We've either got this one or this one. I, uh, I seem to have more confidence in this one, but... I don't think the position will be as good as the position we can get from this one. So, should be a fairly straight pot. Hopefully it works out. But again, it's a little bit of a shot to nothing in terms of we're not going to leave anything easy if we miss it. Hmm, <sighs> unfortunate. Unfortunate, that. And there is a chance. For Liu... Well, and he's missed that as well. That was a shocker. It really was. Hmm. Just going to try and avoid and get in position on that red. Problem is... I don't see how we can. Hmm. B 
big point in this frame because I don't think he's going to make another mistake. You know what? I think... Oh. Do we just take this on? We do, and it's there, but we didn't have any confidence, so... Unfortunately, take it on just as... I don't know why it tells me to log in every time those shots are being played. Very peculiar. Oh, I up. This did happen in a previous match. Where we had to log in for some reason and then... Uh, <laughs> and then it took us back to the main menu. No problem. Blame it, blame it on Pro, uh, Pro Plus. We blame everything else on Pro Plus recently. But I think we've got a genuine chance in this frame. If we just... Play the sensible shot. And the only reason we didn't commit to the last one is that we weren't sure that it would go in. If we'd applied that with a bit more vigour, then we'd have probably had a chance. So. I mean, apparently we shouldn't be hitting the black. Ah, oh, of course, because we'd nominated the pink. Right. Got you, got you, got you. Can we hit this thin enough and miss the red? The only problem is we're going to leave one if we do that. Equally, we've got to hit this quite thick to get back up to, to bulk here. Not an easy shot by any means. Difficult to tell if we can get away with hitting this off the cushion without hitting the red as well. I think we're going to hit the red at that angle. Oh, we hit the red. Hmm, annoying. I thought we would do. And he ain't going to miss that time. No surprise there. This is really tough. It is. It's really tough to get used to. Just not being on your stride. and you know, We've played a few decent pots. We've just not got the position right because we're not confident of getting the pots. So I think we've just got to be a bit more positive potentially. And you know, it will work out potentially. But ultimately... And I'm using a lot of words ending in Lee, but oh well. Ultimately, this frame might have gotten away from us. And at 3-0 down, can we afford to play positive snooker? It's questionable. The only positive is, is that we got the shootout next, which doesn't really matter. Even though we won the tournament last year, it'd be cool to retain it. But I can't see it the way we're playing at the moment. Uh, and then... You know, we've got a few events where we've got a few qualifying rounds. So at least we've got a little bit of time just to bed in. But that being said, actually, there aren't that many events where we've just got qualifying rounds, are there? We've got the Players' Championship. We've got the shootout, I know. But I think it's the Players' Championship after that. There can't be that many tournaments left in the year. I think you'll find it's shootout after this. Players... Um, I can't think of the other one. There's the Tour Championship, China, Gibraltar and the Worlds. So that might be it. But ultimately, as well as those tournaments being it for the season, that is it for frame number three here. Lee Hoishan, good uh, mix of reds and blacks. Although, unfortunately, that's come to an end now. That was a bit of a howler from him. But uh, 51 remaining with, uh, you know, 35 on. There's, there's no point carrying on, really. And uh, we need to win every single frame in this match now to proceed to the last 16. Very camera shy at the moment. We're not doing bad in the last 128 and 64. But we can't do anything in the tournaments we've, we've televised. Oh, he's hit the cushion there, though. Hit the jaw. He's got away with it, really. Can't believe how jammy he's been there. Of 
Should be able to get some good safety here, though, I would have thought. That's okay. It's the blue again. So, does leave an early chance, and there's no way we're missing this one. Right, let's see what we can do. Pink would be very tempting, and I think it is tempting. And we said we were going to play the positive shots. So that's what we'll do. Could be a disaster, which it is. That's just quite unbelievable. I think we've got away with it, though, for the most part. That's quite unbelievable, that. Just about get to the red, you know. We, we pretty much got it on target, but... Just rattled between the two jewels. There ain't too much more we can do about that. Might be getting a little bit unlucky recently. But as uh, predicted, he didn't make much of that. He hasn't made much of any opportunity he's had all day, to be brutally honest. But, you know, at this point, I, I just don't think safety play is really going to work. We've got to go for the jugular. Doesn't look bad. And it's there. Good pot. Again, we've just got to play, play the uh, aggressive shots really now. There's nothing else we can do. As I've said, there's no point playing safety. Really isn't no, any point going down that road. There's a pot on. We'll, we'll take it on. I know it's a game of frustration, but it might well work. And if we can get a frame back, then yeah, I might be tempted to just uh, rein it in. It would help if I remember would, remembered which red went. Was it the one away from the black? Obviously, if we can't get straight on a shot, then it kind of makes going for this ping a bit of a waste of time. Alright, it's this one here. Okay. Okie doke. Try and get decently straight on that. Pretty confident with the pot. And it's there. This is certainly a decent chance. Might be a catalyst if we can play well here. To develop some confidence, who knows. Mm, I'm not liking the short range in which this is going to leave this up. For the other one instead. Mm, if I've hit that though, that's a worry. So it's going to come down for the red we originally planned for anyway. Funny how things work sometimes. We know the pink will take the blue spot as long as we keep potting it. We're just trying to accumulate some points. And that was all out of just taking a positive opportunity available. That was all that was about. Oh, where does that go? I can't tell. I don't want to risk this good opportunity, but I think we've mucked it up. Play a bit of a shot to nothing here. Ho, 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 ho. I think probably with a li little bit less pace would have been okay, but we haven't left anything easy on. Left a chance. See if he takes it. No, just the safety. And again, we might as well go for a shot to nothing. Oh, man. That's frustrating. Need a bit of cover from the pink. I think we've got it. Or have we? No, uh, yeah, we have. Happy with that. Be amazed if we don't pop this. Really will be. Got to hit it with power though. It's the only problem. Nice pot. 
Should come off the cushion. That'll do. That pink's not a bad choice. You know, if we just utilise that cheap blue in brackets that is the pink in this frame, then uh, potentially we can make something here. Remember, Hoishan has not scored a point so far this frame. Oh, no, sorry, he has. When did he get the points, then? I can't remember that. I've honestly just had a mental block. I can't remember. How yeah, strange. We're accumulating a nice little break, though, here for Pro, for pro Plus standards. Check this red goes. Yeah, I don't want to get too far down here. Also want to make sure we play the pink with enough power, which we have more than enough. Oh, we've overhit that. Hmm. Black probably best bet, but how's the pink looking? Hmm, doesn't look bad. Should be a decent shot for the middle pocket. I do fancy the black though a bit more here. Problem with the black is definitely position. Problem is we're not straight on the pink. That max makes the position a lot more awkward. You see, and sort of get there. We should be okay. That sort of position. Got to rely on the pink going in, which it has. I think we can see the red. Yes, we can. Good stuff. Play with power. Moves that one into pot in contention, but look at where the cue ball has ended up. Not in a nice position for the pink, really. So, I think we just play the green here. Fairly confident in this green. That's a good shot. Make sure to tap in, really, on this next red. Whichever one we choose to play, actually. The one near, near the black is a decent chance. And we might actually have a chance of making sure this isn't a clean sweep for Liu. And who knows, maybe getting in the match, back in the match. Good old dream, eh? Just about getting a bit of confidence, but not obviously getting too confident. It can happen very quickly, that. You can get far too confident, but, you know, break of 39. It's not the quickest progress in the world, sure, but... This is the one for the frame. Needs to play it delicately so the cue ball didn't follow the red, but it's there. So barring snookers, it's 3-1. And I think we'll play the game to its climax today. Fairly short so far, the first four frames, so I'm happy to continue. Plus the fact, don't tell anyone, but I'm feeling quite confident now, so it'd be silly to leave it at this point. But it'll be over though within one shot of the next frame, of course, so just how it goes. But we've clawed one back, I'm happy with that. By far the best play that we've played so far today. Position's just massive, isn't it, on Pro Plus? Huge. Mm. 
Hmm, maybe under hit that. Oh well. Go on, we might as well give this a go. Don't see it, but you never know. I mean, how can we pot that and then not pot other shots? Very bizarre. I mean, joking aside, we can actually make a very handy break here. Apologies if you can hear the rain outside. It's started absolutely whacking it down now. So what's that a break of? Is it 66? 67, so a chance for a 94 here, which is not to be scoffed at. Needs to play that hard to get on the green. The brown and the blue are going to be tricky because neither are on the spots. If we can get this right, which I think we have. Maybe a little bit more power would have been desirable, but... Yeah, could have done with a bit more power, to be honest. Oh, well. Oh, we've missed it, though. Had the right idea with the screw back, but nevertheless, we take a frame. And uh, it's 3-1. So we knew from the start of this frame that we needed all four remaining. And we've got one of them. 